Hello and good morning, good afternoon, good evening, and morning and night somewhere. I know it's been a while. Um, life has just gotten a lot busier. My kids started back school. My daughter is now in middle school, turning to be a big young lady. Um, some of the conversations she comes up with, boy, I tell you, if you guys have daughters out there and they're heading into the teenage years, feel free to give me advice in the column below because, may I tell you, I can see I'm in for a very, very rough ride. So, I know the thing on everybody's mind, did I get my deeds? Yes, I did, all six of them. Um, we bought six pieces of land, six plots of land in Kenya. Um, some in Malindi, some in the Rift Valley, I believe, or somewhere. I'm still never been there, so I don't know. Yes, the land is real, the company is legit, all of that has been taken care of. So I'm not particularly worried about that. As a matter of fact, I'm going to name the company because I, I, they, they made it so easy. And even when I was skeptical, because everybody was telling me, oh, you cannot buy land online. Don't do it. You're going to get robbed in Africa. Even people in Kenya were telling me not to do it. And um, I did it. The sales rep was am absolutely amazing. I remember there was a piece of, documentation i needed and this girl went out of her way to get it for me she got a lawyer and everything and she didn't need to that wasn't a part of her job she did not need to do that um so livia dora absolutely thank you at amg realtors good job and i'm not being paid by amg um they don't give me anything free i didn't win anything so straight up um just you know, I'm in customer service. I train people in customer service. And when you get great customer service, I think you should talk about it. So I'll leave um, her phone number, email address in the description. And anybody wants to buy land in Kenya, if you're a Kenyan, it's fairly easy. If you're not Kenyan, you need a Kenyan partner to register LLC. And then you can buy in the name of the company unless you're buying lease land are indentured land that I believe you can buy it as a foreigner. Anyways, I don't want to ramble on, so I'm going to show you the the, the titles shortly. So again, my, my, my procedure was this. Um, I saw Woody Maya interview a gentleman from Chams Media. Then I saw Chams Media interviewing someone from AMG they were selling somewhere in Naivasha and, I, and I, I did buy a piece of land in Naivasha and then um, a friend said to me hey remember that thing you did you should do it in Kenya it would this could be your next thing in Kenya and then I remember my interactions in Kenya and I'm like you know what people are asking me to do this I'm going to do this and then I said how far is the space from Nairobi and they told me three hours I'm like no that's not gonna happen I need somewhere where I can um, go home and you know, an hour's drive, hour and a half is fine, but more than that I can't do. So that's why I didn't buy the place in where the, wherever they were selling before. So now this place that I've bought is an hour, 45 minutes in the highway, um, outside Nairobi, CBD. And um, yeah, so that's where I'm gonna be. So we chose a piece of land and then the, the rep said to me, hey, we have land selling in Melindi. It's half an hour from the beach, which for Jamaicans, that's not, I can drive half an hour to the beach. Um, and it's relatively inexpensive. It was like 1500 US dollars. Um, she said it's semi-residential, so people might build like a, a, a factory or a workshop, or maybe somebody might do a farm next door to you, but you can buy your land. And so I bought, I bought one piece of land down there, one, right? And um, my wife wasn't on board at this time because she think I'm nuts at this point. And then I showing her on the map where the place is and the, the, to the beach. And then I showed her a couple of videos of what the, the, the beach close by looks like. And she goes, it's that cheap. Why are you buying with just one? And she, go, she goes, why four? I'm like, four? You're going to give me the money? She said, yeah, buy four. And so she never gave me the money, <laughs> but I bought four. Um, our finances are together, really, not not much. It was more symbolic than anything else. Um, so I bought four and I bought two people.
pieces in um, near, near um, what, Mount Longanat or whatever that is. And yeah, I am excited. I am heading there in a few months. Um, and I'm bringing people with me. This is, this is the beauty of feeling this kind of passion. You can move people to do things. Woody Maya got thousands to move. I get in three to come visit. <laughs> and you know, for me, with, with the, with outside of whatever business I'm looking to start, because I'm not looking to go to get a job. Outside of whatever business I'm looking to start, my other main goal, goal is to at least introduce two people to Kenya each year. That is my dream. Two people that will have no interest in Africa to get them to visit. And um, as I said, you know, when my, when my place is finished and I'll tell, and this is gonna go out to all West Indian people. I'm like, listen, I will give two weeks, three weeks to two different families each year you know, so your your accommodation is taken care of going my own food but you don't have to pay rent nowhere and i'll do that I, that's the kind of person i am and that's going to be my gift back to anyone they're like you want to come you have a place to stay for three weeks you come stay and you move on and go to whatever you want to do so i think that will be my contribution and you guys should hold me to that um when i build my place that's it so if i can bring bring people who normally would not have come um then why not because i think especially for my home country jamaica i think we've lost we've lost a bit of ourselves